What's up guys, Austin Newman here with MotionRay.com and today we're going to walk through the process of creating a LUT inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. As an editor, we often find ourselves working with footage from the same location and lighting setups and being able to create your own LUT or lookup table inside Adobe Premiere Pro can help you speed up this workflow for some setups. Let's go ahead and dive in on how you can start creating your own custom LUTs right here inside the program. All right, so I'm now inside Adobe Premiere Pro. I've got my footage here of the Washington Monument on my timeline. I've already made a few color adjustments to this to my own taste. So if I go over here to my Effect Controls tab, I can just kind of toggle on and off the Lumetri color and you can see what it used to look like before. This is the image before I applied any of these effects to it. Now adding the color back, this is how I want to export it. And as a matter of fact, I have several clips that I want to apply the same look to. Now if I want to do this individually, I'd have to go and make all these adjustments again to each individual clip. But there's an easier way, and that would be to create my own lookup table or LUT right here inside Adobe Premiere Pro. In order to take all of these settings under my Lumetri color panel, I can just go ahead and go up here where it says Lumetri color. I can right click and choose export cube. Now a cube file is something that you can exchange with another editor who may be using a different NLE than you. For example, you can also use this inside Final Cut Pro. I can save this and even name this into a separate folder. So I'll just name this Washington LUT. Now I'm gonna save it and now I have that LUT for whenever I wanna use it again. So now I can use that LUT for all of my other footage, even if I wanted to reapply it to this footage in particular. So let's go ahead and delete the Lumetri color over here, my effect controls panel. And under my Lumetri color panel, I'll go down under creative here, under this tab, and under look, this is where you can import a LUT. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this down, and there's some that Adobe has already created. You can apply these to your look but I'm just going to add back the one that I created for this footage. So I'll go to browse here and opening up that same folder, I save my Washington LUT, there it is. I can just double click and now I have those same settings back again, exactly how I exported them. And I can apply this to all the clips that I have with this similar lighting style. And that's as easy as it is to use and export and save LUTs right here inside Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If it has, I encourage you to check out some of the other Premiere Pro tutorials we have right here on motionarray.com. Until next time, we'll see you later.